Good morning everyone. Today's topic of cleaning is lacrimal syringing, also known as sac syringing. Basically, coming to the anatomy of the lacrimal uh, apparatus, it consists of a lacrimal gland and the lacrimal passages. The lacrimal passages include the lacrimal puncta. These are the lacrimal puncta in the upper and the lower legs. Then there are the canaliculi. Then there is a lacrimal sac and then there is the nasolacrimal duct. The, uh, but there are a canaliculi are again vertical canaliculi, horizontal canaliculi and a common canaliculi. The common canaliculus opens into the lacrimal sac and this opening is guarded by the valve of frozen muller which is comprised of a fold of mucosa. And then the nasolacrimal duct opens into the inferior meatus of the nose and it is guarded by the valve of acne, it is, it is also a mucosal plant. Then uh, the test of lacrimal syringe is performed to find out the patency of the nasolacrimal duct that is also known as the NLD, the patency of DCR that is an operative procedure that is to rhinostomy. Then there is patency for the patency of lacrimal fistulas and to open partially blocked nasolacrimal duct. The instruments used for lacrimal syringing are the punctum dilator and a lacrimal cannula. Hereby uh, explaining the procedure, the conjunctival sac is an anesthetized with 4% 4, 4 paracetine or 1.5% paracetine. This will anesthetize the puncta as well as the canalicula. The lower punctum and canalicula are dilated with the help of the punctum dilator. Later, the lacrimal cannula is introduced through the dilated function and canalicular. This lacrimal cannula is attached to a saline filled 5 ml syringe. Then, the plunger of the syringe is slowly pushed so that the water saline flows through the lacrimal cannula and, if, and there are various observations made. If the patient feels that the saline has come or flowed into the throat and swallows it, then it means that the NLD or nasolacrimal duct is open. If the cell line is felt in the throat under pressure, then the nasolacrimal duct is partially blocked. If the cell line is not felt in the throat and it regurgitates through the upper, upper puncture, it means that the NLD is completely blocked and upper canaliculus and puncture are open. If the cell line regurgitates through the lower puncta by the side of the lacrimal cannula itself, because we insert the lacrimal uh, cannula mostly in the lower puncta, if the cell line regurgitates through the lower puncta by the side of this lacrimal cannula, then the NLD, upper canaliculus, and puncta are all blocked, and hence the regurgitation is through the same opening as it is being injected. Then the cell line trickles through an opening on the skin, that means there has been an Fistula, that is a patent lacrimal fistula is present. If there is distension of the sac, that is a lacrimal sac, without any regurgitation and a slight trickle down the throat, it is suggestive mostly of rhinosporidiosis of the sac. This test is contraindicated in acute dacrocystitis where the patient complains of pain and there is discharge. Thank you.